Jump, 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 Cosmos, otherwise known as Logic in Impali. Bro, welcome to That Z Podcast. Thank you very much. Uh, this, this episode has been a long time in the making. and <laughs> Yeah. Did you I, watch I, Africa? I, uh, I, I like the other one. Mm. <laughs> no names mentioned, eh? <laughs> and, and, and look at Olsen giving them free publicity on That Z Podcast. Right. Yeah, bro, I'm hungry. All right. Mm. These are the times when you don't give a shit. I, I, I couldn't give a fuck. But hey, listen, now you now you need to advertise. Yeah, now they need to. Who's that one? Hungry Lion? Is that the one that you said you, you liked? No, I don't. I can't, I can't name them. Nandos? We don't want to give them free nine gun. Okay. We don't want to be a phone at the same. I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's not your cool shot to be advertising for you know free. What you I know mean. what I mean? Yeah. Cosmos, welcome to that Z podcast. And so much has happened. Mm. From the last time you trended, and of course, we want to know the, a different side of Cosmos today. Yeah. And I think, for me, the first question that lingers every time I look at you, your role as <laughs> logic. Yourself, please. You want to introduce yourself? Yourself. Gob has written a name on the screen. Why do you no think people know who you are? Gob has written a name on the screen. Why not? Say your name. No, that sounds like going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be arrogant. <laughs> Oh, crap. You, you want to say your name? Elson. Yay. The nation's uncle. Yay. I mean, new is... week, new Zesco fucking timetable. <laughs> but what's up with this load shitting issue, eh? Can't fucking keep up, man. Can't make plans for nothing. Eish. It's a cousin. I'm going to go to the Remember, I think at one point, I didn't do the part. I hate podcasts. <laughs> Why? Because they're too free. I know, because... Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> well, welcome to it. Welcome to it. Speaking of podcasts, mm. dude, th- there's a disease I found out about. Oh, you got a new disease? Today. Apart from herpes? <laughs> yeah, you're just collecting this disease. Huh? You know, the... What ah, sweet. I, I like when such messages come through. What, money? Yeah. But anyway, moving on. There's a... Uh... I don't know if you guys know about a disease where people actually faint while peeing. No. Ever heard of that one? That's just you, bro. <laughs> uh, that is just you. Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I wrote the name down somewhere. I was listening to a very interesting podcast last night. Seeing as you don't like podcasts, but mm. I like podcasts for that simple reason. I learned so much from podcasts. And this disease is called my Q... Uh, where is it now? Listen to this. Micturition. Uh, I think I'm a disease. I haven't heard about it. Thing because <laughs> <laughs> never heard of it. Also, never heard of it before. Mictur- no. Micturition syndrome. Mm-mm. So, Micturition syndrome, actually, it's called Micturition syncope syndrome, mm. is fainting while peeing. Now, this is likely due to a severe drop in blood pressure, and Micturition syncope is most common in older men. Uh. And usually, when getting up at night from. From a, please, please pick up a phone. <laughs> so this happens in older men. And usually when you wake up to pee at night, that's when this happens. So gentlemen, in case this ever happens to you when you get older, because you know, you know when you're getting older, your body starts mm-hmm. doing things. So don't be surprised one day if you're peeing and you faint in the bathroom. Eh? Uh, so it's there's called, actually been people that have gone through that. Dude, it's actually a very common disease. So I called a doctor friend this morning to find out. And it's actually a very common thing. Okay. Yeah, like even at UTH, they handle such it patients. Sounds very, you pass very out while you're peeing? Yeah, you're peeing and you just faint. Of course. Because of very... Re- is, it, is it a reduction or increase in blood pressure? What causes this? Especially reduction. Uh, increase. Most common older men and usually when getting up... Uh, yeah, so it's due to a severe drop in blood pressure. What causes... I really don't know. I didn't read that far. Oh, wait. Um... Uh, well, so there's too much going on in terms of explanations here, but I think it's mostly people with low blood pressure. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, look at you. Things change in your body. Look at you and your knee issues and you can't. Get, knee issues. You're complaining about going upstairs the other, the other time I was at your place. Never. <laughs> me? This nigga. How many friends have you got? You got cheating on, are you cheating on me? <laughs> Cosmos, welcome to that podcast. I go up and, and down those stairs like at least every 20 times a day. At least you're, you're doing some form of workout. That's good. That's good. There you go. Cosmos, I was asking about your role in Impali. Help me understand one thing about the, the R's and the L's. Mm. Was that like your creation? Did it just come on set or was the script written that way for you? I think in Indian, that Iraq is a matter of preparation, meeting an opportunity. Okay. Sometime before I got the opportunity that I had, <clears throat> I used to do some of the broken English conversations around myself. Okay. I think in 2017, I was video a video uh then i was in, as I, I was actually attending that no z quebec or something i don't know then when i went there the the following year mm. that's when we started the, the 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 broken english thing but i had been doing it way before then so I for those that don't know what you're talking about what broken english thing <clears throat> The, the logic character. The, the R's and the L's. Wow. You want <laughs> well, guys, are we going to assume that everybody watches in Pali? Are we not going to give um, context? He's about to give context. No. Uh, I, I'm actually, I'm, uh, I'm paid to do that. So, when I'm going to do broken English, I'm going to do that. So, um, logic is a character in a TV show called Mpali. Right. Mm -hmm. And he speaks broken English. He... He's a gentleman who believes in self. He thinks because he lived with a white man, so he's supposed to have a Western culture kind of approach to his lifestyle. So, but he doesn't. He can't speak proper English for right. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, he, so he's just basically in who your character is. He, sort of. Does that ever? <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to figure out like how deep into this you go. Does that ever then really affect your vocabulary? Like when you get offset and now you are you are in the bank? When you're speaking Nyanja, you're speaking Nyanja. When you're no, speaking. like when you speak English. Because you know you speak English. English. Isn't speaking your pay English. to speak broken English? Yeah. So my question to you is, does that then affect your vocabulary when you're offset? I can't mix business with the... But you assume the role, don't you? Yeah, only when I'm acting. So when I am when I am this character, I am this character. N anything else that comes after what? So the answer is no. No. That's, there you go. Yeah, that was I mean, pretty simple, wasn't it? Because I mean, if if if, <laughs> if if you were bringing your character into real life, you'd have said character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got new headphones. Yeah, 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 I got a pair on the way here. Just right price. <laughs> you won't believe where, bro. It's a bit embarrassing to say. <laughs> well, like Salaula. Toys are us. <laughs> Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ah, this nigga's frugal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll explain the rest later, man. Yeah, so, the, the, the story of Toys R Us, though, is a pretty good business story as to, I'm pretty sure it will fit into this podcast, that you need to adapt with the times. You're right. You've seen how they've gone broke, and they've shut all over the world. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know in America, they're not existing anymore. No, they're not, because they refused to go digital. They said, mm. we made our money based off people coming here buying physical toys. And then Amazon was like, oh You know beer. what I feel like about this podcast? Yeah. You should you should stop inviting guests. <laughs> Why is that? Because you, you like engaging in conversations, the two of you. Um, so when we speak about business, you don't feel you can relate to business? Except if it's addressed to me. No, but we, you were in the conversation, aren't you? So he brought Toys R Us, and then I came up with something that I heard about Toys R Us. I'm not excluding you in the conversation. You're sitting here, no? Oh, no, no. I'm not going to be side, so... No, there's no side conversation. You're in the conversation. Why are you okay. sensitive? Okay, so you could also look at me when you're talking. Yeah, but he had brought that up. I'm looking at you now. You like, you like looking at my eyes? <laughs> This is yeah. sounding romantic all of a sudden. Uh, uh, I don't know. He's feeling left out. <laughs> <house. laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh. He's feeling left out. I don't know. Maybe you like my eyes. No. I'm looking at your eyes now, Cosmos. No. Do you bro, feel don't better? Look at, don't look at my eyes. Do you not, feel, no, look at me. I'm actually going to be looking down. No, at this look at person. me. Look at me, my G. Dude, speaking of the, the example that Elson gave with Toys R Us not evolving, with the from the time that you started this role, 
mm. the logic rule. Yes. Look at him, please. <laughs> I am. I am. Before he complains, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Dude, how yeah. much, especially when it comes to remaining relevant in the industry, how much evolution is happening? Let me start as Cosmos. <laughs> well, I think a lot of us get very, very comfortable where we are. Mm. With the fact that uh, there's a bit of good money is coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in to be getting the, is the money. So a lot of us get comfortable. But when I look at this whole thing, we will get to a point where uh, one day, if, uh, for example, Zambez Magic left us, mm. a lot of us would, would have to start from the scratch and would, would be would not have invested as much as we should we should have. So personally, I'm taking it upon myself to be the, if I'm going to be the sacrificial, I'm, I should be that guy that should change the narrative in terms of the approach to the film business and the industry. Because I think as an industry, we are so much dependent on what we are getting outside instead of what we can create for ourselves. So the revolution has actually started. So those that would want, those that are going to be part of it will move with them. Speaking of which, I'm, 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 I'm hearing rumors of you resigning from Mpali. I've heard that too. But time will tell. So are you resigning? C uh, calculated moves is the conversation. You don't answer the question though. It sounds like he is. It sounds like he is, eh? Yeah. To you guys? Yeah. Okay. Mm, sounds like you are cool. Gob, do I just move my chicken from there and just keep it where your suitcase is? <laughs> I don't trust that fucking cat. Walking too close for comfort. Ah, bro. Can I move for cent? Yeah. Thank you, Gob. But are you, are you going to answer the question or not? Are you leaving in Pali? No, I'm not I, leaving. Papa. Okay. Um, in Chiriko. Okay. How, how many seasons now? Seven. Season seven now. Also, it's like in Pali and Zuba just follow each other. Yes. Started almost at the, about Papa, the same time. Didn't know Zuba. Mm. They were, I think they were doing season two. Then we started. Right. Yeah. Who, who's the biggest though? In terms of viewership. B between the two. Mm. He would uh, know. From the ratings, Mpadi has been, I, I, I could, not because I'm in the show, mm. but we hear these conversations even at 90% of the time when we meet fans, they, they go like, ah, we, ah, we like Mpadi, but that Zuba thing, ah, you know? <laughs> we, but we're like, guys, it's just one industry. So we can't, we're not going to take the shine simply because we, we could have a cast of people that are more relatable to you. They've got the elite audience also, mm. the people that, that look at them as, as relatable. Tichoka combo. So mostly right. we can relate to what we, we've experienced. So uh, Who, who's the, who's the, who's your target audience? Who normally watches Mpali? I think he, I think Mpali has got a very wider wide audience. Right. So even the elite watcher, the, mm. the former president used to tell me stories about it. Who, ECL? Yeah. Oh, well, you guys were close? Did they give you some money? A ACC? Pay close attention? They didn't give this, me any money. Put this microphone we very close friends. to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> DC. You say what? Repeat, repeat yourself, Cosmos. No, the, the president would say, no, it's a nice thing. I think even the, the current president has had some, some conversations. Ah, leave him out of this. Yeah, let's, hey, let's focus on the previous one that you've said. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now, now you want to just insert this one where he doesn't belong. Mm -mm. We want to hear the previous one. A <laughs> chance. <laughs> no, I've heard. I've heard that. So, it, it covers everybody, I think. Dude, so... It's how, many, how many, you said what, seven seasons? Mm -hmm. Does that automatically mean seven years? Yes. No. That, that's it? So one season a year? Yes. One season a year, right. Yes. Have you felt in any way, especially, Elson asked what kind of people watch. Mm. Have you felt in any way, like maybe your type of fans are changing or maybe is the fan base changing in terms of numbers, size, age groups? Is that with regards to the show? Yeah, with regards yeah, to, the, regards the, to show. the show and yourself as well. Uh, with the show... There's a there's a there's a Facebook group called Friends Who Like Zambezi Magic. Mm. Those are the like the, the true fans of the of the of the channel. We've I've noted that there's a, there's a lot of concerns. Now it's becoming boring. It's, so there's some some sort of change that is coming with regards to whatever they they they, they feel like they were being given. But with me, Mr. Cosmas Ngando is a very big brand than Logic. 
because Logic only has about 217,000 followers and Mr. Cosmas Ngandu has about 870, what, 80 something thousand. Oh, you've got pages for the two. Yes. So I haven't really experienced some sort of uh, confusion between the two because as Cosmas Ngandu, I am Cosmas as Logic. He is as Logic. So I don't mix the two, personally. Do you ever get people on the streets who get shocked when they meet you and you're speaking normally? They expect you to be logic even yes. in real life. Yes, yes. I'm used to that now. I met, I've had even like five that have cried before. I'm cry. like, ah, hey, wait. <laughs> Did you say cry or try? Cry. cry. Why cry? Away? Because they've seen me, I'm like, hey, wait. <laughs> yeah, some, some were, those, were, those, were those guys? It'll be weird. Yeah, ladies, yeah, just are you married? Ladies, I don't know. I you don't, don't know, know if you're married? I don't know if they're married. No, are you married? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, did, did you answer when you said that? Were they, were they guys? It says ladies. So all, ladies. all five were ladies. Five ladies. ladies. We can breathe. Uh, we can uh, breathe. Yeah. <laughs> How does your wife feel about that? Like when she sees women crying over you? Uh, she has no control over how people feel about me. But she's got no control over how she feels too. No, she has to have control because we have these conversations. Before before engaging with anybody, you, you let them know what your plan is. What um, We had this conversation way before time. So mm. mm -hmm. That's why we are here. So, so she, she doesn't mind? No, she's not supposed to. You know why I asked about how you feel about the your fan base for the past seven years. Mm. Because in the past seven years, Netflix has sort of come into the equation in our homes as well. You know what I mean? Like, are you seeing, a, are, are you feeling the impact of Netflix, especially when it comes, as regards your, fa your fan base? <sighs> when I posted the Muzukanji trailer mm. that I'm working on, I think 90% of people were saying, can we put it on Netflix? Can we put it on Netflix? And somewhat, it, it could be like a bridge between the Zambian audiences and the people in the diaspora to have an opportunity to experience a Zambian film uh, being made. So there's no mix up between the two because Zambezi Magic is Zambezi Magic. Mm. And the same consumers for Zambezi Magic also watch Netflix, you know, Ex except it's up to them to decide whether they want to watch at this particular time or not. My, my salary won't be affected because there's two people watching. As long as my contract says you'll be getting this much. So it only gets to me as a concern if it is me making the actual films and, and my ratings are going down. And that's when I, it, it gets to worry me. But as just a performer, my duty is to perform and the people that do the marketing for the productions do that. So the Moizukanji movie, is this like your own personal project? Because yeah, you, you, you yeah, marketing it like it's your own out of pocket yes, project kind yes, of thing. Yes, it is. It's Are you, who's own. funding it? Uh, my managers. My manager, Mr. Surya. Is there. He's the one funding the movie. Yes. He's the one who funded the movie. How much does a movie like this cost? Ours was, ours was 850,000. What the Moizukanji movie? Yeah. What's it loosely based on? Uh, well, our premise is not to tell this, the, the storyline, but it's based on a Zambian story. But what can you give about the Muzukanji movie? Um, well, nothing but just a Zambian story, an African story. People need to come and, uh, and, and, and watch. Why should they? Is the question. Because it, being a Zambian story is not reason enough for someone to come and watch. So mm. now I'm saying give them reason why they should tune in. Because we're, we're, well, we're talking about betrayal, we're talking about uh, uh, anger issues, we're talking about disappointments, um, how to resolve issues when you're, when you're faced with predicaments. Is this about Muzukanji? It doesn't matter. It's a Zambian story. Uh, is the movie about Muzukanji? Wait, which Muzukanji? Our character or the... <laughs> eh? <laughs> Cosmos. Eh. 
<laughs> Which Muizu Kanji? If you if you say Muizu Kanji, are you talking about? You know, there's two kinds of guests that we see here. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, there's two kinds of guests that we see. All well, three, you're turning out to be in the same WhatsApp group as what's the tall, what's the tall dude? KB. Yeah. Stop being political, dude. How many Muzukanjis do you know? Hmm, there's quite a number. Muzukanji, your mf is X. Oh, I could have a specific kind. Now one. I'm specific. Is it about her? Ah. Uh. The, those are the things we're avoiding to talk about. What is it? A yes, it is, or no, it's not. <laughs> It could be, it could be not. Okay, how are you marketing this movie? Because from inception, you guys marketed this as... Remember there was a post about Moizukanji, betrayal. Mm. You've heard one side, you've heard, I think, mm. I think the post even said you've heard your map side. Now you can hear the other side. All right. Mm. So wh why are you retracting now? Why are you changing what the story is about now that we've come to this point? Good TV is bad TV. Bad TV is good TV, so... Um, but once again, you can put, put you can put people off watching it because there were people who are going to tune in to watch it because Zabu Musikanji, they want to know the story. And then you come on here and you say, it could not be about her. Then people are like, so what reason then do I have to watch the movie? Because, because I would have wanted to know. It's a film made by a Zambian. So a Zambian fuck, what? It doesn't matter. It's supposed Listen, to matter. Okay, no. Cosmos, if a movie is entitled Nelson Mandela, <laughs> is it going to be about anybody else apart from Nelson Mandela? That's a specific person mm. nelson mandela and Muzukanji is not nelson a specific Madiba person they, there's only one person in zambia who's popularly known as Muzukanji. and nelson mandela is not the only nelson mandela exactly no no if we there's say, more than one nelson mandela if we say nelson madiba mandela no, no but, but the, the, Madiba. Movie, the movie was entitled nelson mandela yeah yeah so starring now, idris elba mm. so which nelson mandela was he playing no th that's their narrative that's the that's what their story was talking about what i'm I'm, I'm talking about is is my Muizukanji that people I want to experience. Mm. You get the sense? Mm. So whether it's talking about Prudence Nakamba or another Muizukanji in my film, yours is to come and support a Zambian story that is talking about betrayal, is talking about disappointment, stigma, all those things. Did you see how they marketed uh, Can They See Us? It's called Can They See Us, right? Yes. Did you see how they marketed it? Yes. Say the storyline, said exactly what it was about. They didn't say, well, it could or could not be about... It's, it's called a synopsis. Right. A brief of the movie. So you can't tell us just a Zambian uh, story. The fact that it is a Zambian story is not good enough for someone to tune and watch it. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at another movie which was on Netflix recently. Can you, is it, can you or can they see can, us? Can you say I've it? just said that. Yeah. Oh, you just okay, cool. Can, now, you, can you listen to this podcast once in a while? This is an amazing <laughs> podcast. <laughs> you Brilliant see, fucking podcast. You see what I mean? That's <laughs> the point right there. It tells us a brief of the movie. Synopsis. Yes. So our um, our marketing approach to this is not to tell the actual synopsis, um, because our point of sale literally depends on either it being a Nakamba story mm. or a different Muzukanji story. Mm. You know what I mean? So, not that I can't tell you the storyline, okay. but I need you to come and experience it for yourself so that you can you can decide for yourself. Okay. Is it about a girl with struggles in life? Is it about a boy with struggles in life? Yeah. It's, it's about, yeah, of course, it's about Is a girl. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? It's a girl. It's, 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 a, it's a... Does she betray, get betrayed by a guy who's a musician? <laughs> Very good question. Very good question. Uh, there's betrayal. So mm. in life, yeah, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. He's going to be a betrayal. He's going to be a betrayal. So I want to Does the guy end up marrying a light-skinned chick? Uh, so she discovers that he's cheating on her. Oh. See, now we're getting somewhere. Now, if I was not going to watch the movie, now I'm going to watch the movie. We're getting somewhere. Now we're getting so somewhere. So you just sold a ticket. See, now you just, you, you got can, one ticket. Can, can he buy a ticket, sir? Two <laughs> yeah. We just how, sold how a ticket. How much is the ticket? It's 500. And, and, when is it, and when is it out? June 29th. June 29th. Mm. Death how, smack how much in the middle of winter. Come booed up with my girlfriend and whatnot. <laughs> or will she? Go, can you give this man a microphone okay. for a minute first? Boss, you've put in uh, 850,000 kwacha into this movie. Yeah. And you said the tickets are how much? 500 kwacha. 500 VIP, 1,000 VVIP, and 250 regular. 
So are you hoping to recover this money just from ticket sales on that night or what's, what's the plan? Are you putting we'll it up on other platforms as well? We'll recover 75% on ticket sales. Because we're having, that's, that's the projection. For the first time in Zambia, we're having 2,500 people in a hall. Mm. For Where are you from, man? Original, I'm from New York, originally from Cameroon. Originally from Cameroon? Yeah. But you live in New York? Yeah. Which years. part? The Bronx. Very rough neighborhood. This is why you had this mean mug look on your face, huh? <laughs> You wow. would smile, not, but it would bright. Look at wow. him. Wow. No, you would smile, nothing. <laughs> no, I think he's just uh, upset because we came here. Yeah. <laughs> no, please, coin. please blame Coin for that. Seems like Coin had a mix up because we were told yeah. three, you were told two. So apologies so, for that. Help, help me understand. <laughs> why would you risk 850000 on this young man? Because I believe in uh, the future. I believe in youth. I think uh, Cosmos Gandu has proven that he can dare. He's a daredevil. He, mm. he, he believes in, in, in himself. And I think one thing about Africa in general and Zambia in particular is that we don't believe in young people. Look at the leadership, mm. you know. So we have like one country out of 54 countries with one young leader. Who is with one two, what? Two young leaders, like Senegal and Burkina Faso. Right, yeah. So I, I, I feel like now it's time for us as a people to believe mm. in young people and give them a chance, you know. Believe in dreamers. He, Cosmos is a dreamer. Um, one thing that I would love the people to know about this and sometimes he doesn't like me to talk about it, but uh, it's the resilience aspect of him filming this, you know, um, losing his father in between the shoot, having a baby mm. in between the shoot, losing seven pieces of equipment in between the shoot and still persevering to finish it. Hunger does that, man. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think resilience more than hunger. I think um, the ability to want to prove the haters wrong mm -hmm. and sometimes prove ourselves wrong, uh, right as well. So, How did you meet him? We met Two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, at a movie premiere, um, I was hosting a, a podcast called Shima on My Table, and I needed him as a guest. And uh, he wasn't ready. I think he told me he wasn't hungry. <laughs> was, he, was that in Cameroon? Yeah, in Zambia. Oh, right here in Zambia? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've been here for a while, eh? Yeah, back and forth between here and New York for the past three years. <laughs> Quick question. Have you met Muzukanji? Have I met Muzukanji? Yeah. Which one? The character or the person? <laughs> no, the person. You've got him being politically correct <laughs> nah, as well. <laughs> yes, I've met her. So it's about her? Uh, it's about uh, uh, why are you concluding? Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> why, why, out of all the other Zambians, would you have met her? <laughs> because she is a famous uh, influencer. Ah, there's so many famous influencers <laughs> in Zambia. That not much of them are called Muzukanji. And not what? Not not most of them are called Muzukanji. I think so Muzu it's not a coincidence that you met Muzukanji <laughs> and the movie is called Muzukanji now, is it? Especially somebody from New York. Muzukanji is a name. Is I think it's a common Zambian name, right? <laughs> no, it's Muzukanji not. actually no. means good morning. Yeah. And... A fun fact. Aquilans. <laughs> fun fact. That's not Muzukanji's name either. No, she's Prudence Nakamba. Yeah. yeah. I what? think you should buy a ticket. I, I think you should get Pulu. a VIP ticket and come and watch it. I feel like um I feel like we hold one thing about I love about Zambia is that the people are so peaceful, but we hold so much on the details. And that's why we are ready to throw ourselves under the bus most of the time. Maybe one or two last questions before mm. we, we, we make this about you because we still want to make it about Cosmos. <laughs> yeah, why? Not Cameroon. Why did you come to Zambia to do this? Because Zambia is unique. Zambia is what? Unique. Cameroon is and Cameroon not. isn't? I didn't say Cameroon wasn't. I it's said Zambia is unique. So, but why not Cameroon and because why Zambia? Because Zambia is unique. So, what did you find that's unique here that is not unique in Cameroon? Um, I think uh, the hospitality. The mm -hmm. ability to, uh, to give space to people from the outside. Mm. You know, I, I think Zambians don't use, utilize that a lot. So you don't find that in your own country? A little bit more in Zambia than in Cameroon. Right. Are you, so what, what, what nationality are you? <laughs> you said about him. Yeah, I said, I said, said two said last questions. Just about two questions. You've asked what, two what, what, what nationality are you? Can we move on? <laughs> are you feeling left out? No. Why? No. Oh, you, you want, you want to say him. I'm complaining again? Co Cosmos. <laughs> um, yes. Goba, go, are we good? Cosmos. Whose idea was it to make this movie? It's mine. It was your idea. Yeah. So you scripted the movie. Yeah. After you're done scripting, you start looking for funding. How many people did you see before this man came well, in? Let me actually say it. Mm. Um, when I when I knew that funding never comes mm. from our country, I started saving. Yeah. A few months before the shoot, saved, saved, saved. Um, I saved, I saved about, um, and this is saving up of a shing. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So then we, I, I, I decided to bring everybody on board. We, we got equipment from Mr. Mr. Cyril and then we started shooting. And that's when in the, in the process, we, people store equipment. That was me funding the film at the first, the, mm. the first time. People store equipment. And then the following day, my father got admitted. Uh, he got sick. And then Carol was pregnant. I was equally having that chiputa mumpuno or something that, that makes you reason, stops you from reasoning. Uh, and then dad dies. Then uh, I literally gave up on this. Sheesh, so dad dies. Yes. In the process. My condolences, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I joke about it if you are here. So he dies and then because it's his equipment, mm. his his mm. his company equipment, I start I stop I, I, I stopped speaking his calls and all the other things. I would see his calls and, and avoid them. Because I don't know where I'm going to get seventy one thousand kwacha to pay for the drone and the and the Oh you were owing him money. Yes. He was the owner of the equipment. Mm. So I think circumstances really brought us together and made us understand that we could make magic together. So where see, was he, he at that point? Was he here or was he in he New was York? Here. Right. He was here. So there's, there's Koska Films here and his the production company, Miles 10. Mm-hmm. So this is where we got the equipment before it got, it, it got uh, stolen. So then after we, we, we were 85% in the film, mm. the actress that we hired to play a certain character in the film, started tripping why she wanted more money or something? i don't know i don't know and then we started over the film you had to reshoot the yes. whole thing wait this, this, you had to this, let this go is, of that actress yes. the, she was she was the muizu kanji in the movie no 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 she was one of the main actors all oh, right okay. in the film one of the main actors in the film so she tripped that's how that's how much that's how come even our money goes to about 800 and what is she known yes she is She's a no, is she one of the other, um, like Mpali or Zuba? Yeah. Which one? Mpali or Zuba? Yeah. Mpali. Mpali. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> one of my friends just. So. Can you guess? No. Do you watch Mpali? So. so I've, I've, I've watched a few episodes. Come see, yeah. come sir. Mm. That's how come we started over. He, he then decided to fund the, the off him. He says, no, look, you're going through stuff and you can't give up on this dream because I've mm. seen how you, you're working with your team. And um, there's a few other people that uh, that have helped with resources in terms of finance, and not just him alone. There's there's like Lixwad Motors, where a marketing manager for, and uh, and we've we've made the magic again. Here we are. So all those uh, issues that Simon Moalene was bringing up. I feel like that that father is just one of those guys that just want to talk about anything. It's not necessary for children like us. No, but would you blame Simon Moalene for posting that after you had stated you posted yourself? Because he that put what? up he put up a screenshot of what you had posted saying you've heard Muzukanji's side. Mm. Now the other guy mm. who betrayed her mm. who shall tell the story in this movie. Ah. But uh, that's our dad. He's supposed to call me to say, Sunny, I feel mm. like here yeah, you can do like this. Not that uh, I'm throwing mad at your maps. He's not supposed to talk like that. He's supposed to, especially also that other woman in the diaspora. That's very, very disrespectful. <laughs> Is it Lydia Mutombo? <laughs> you, you can call her that. I don't. <laughs> you can call her that. I don't. <laughs> what, what, what do you call her by? I don't know. The, 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 the woman mother. in the diaspora. The, the, man, is what the ranting woman in the diaspora. Mm. See, disrespectful. What the hell is up with this goddamn cat, man? I like cats. Mm. Yeah. So... I feel like he, these these elders should just leave us to explore. No, but don't if, you feel those? He was justified in doing what he did. Has he watched the you, film? No, because the way you posted, anybody, I mean, anybody, I didn't anybody would have concluded. Anyone? You didn't have to. Anybody would have concluded you were talking about Muzukanji and your maps. To post to make people look at a certain things a certain way. Uh. Only those that are wise enough will, will, will read between the lines. Maybe he's not even talking about the stuff that he's talking about. But we all know you're talking about the stuff that you're talking about. <laughs> because I want you to think like that. Have and, you ever... and we are. So do you blame us? <laughs> and do you blame Simon Moore for posting yeah, what he did? You want us to think like that and we are thinking like that. Ah. <laughs> God, you want to say something? I see you're itching. <laughs> 
I want to ask something, but it might change the topic. Don't worry, go ahead. Okay, uh, Cosmos, I want to ask you something specifically. Like, mm. uh, imagine to imagine you're speaking to somebody who just finished school and he wants to become a filmmaker at the end of the day. Do you think it's possible for you without a, without a budget, or rather, how do someone go about without any connection, without any background of movie, but they, they just have an ability to write good stories. Do you think they can really achieve that here in Zambia? Is the industry allowing us to, to have such kind of uh, in, in environment or something like that? We recently heard that the, the industry, Barich Tana and Kani, publicized pol- policy, film policy, and they are, they are doing grants now. So it's very possible if they can believe in themselves to just chase that money to make, to get a grant. From the is it from the ministry, National Arts Council. So I, I feel like it's, it's very possible. But if you want to make it as an individual, you get the real experience. Because I've, I've, I've seen the struggle. This is my second feature film. My first feature film literally depended on me to, to look for money, uh, look for actors, find, find who to shoot, you know, every other person. But obviously because I've been here. Dude, do you... So you're an actor, and then you then decided, I want to make my own movie, right? Do you get people who undermine your ability either to be a director or to own the film uh, or produce? Because they're like, no, but we we act alongside this dude, and now he wants to hire me. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yes. Do, do you get people who undermine your ability to to lead? Except they may not say it in my face, but if they're there, it's, it's very, very possible. Uh, my whole background, actually, of of art has been that I'm I'm from a theater background. Mm-hmm. I used to do a lot of drama in school, mm-hmm. and back in school, I used to write scripts, I used to direct, mm-hmm. I used to do poetry, mm-hmm. and ninety percent of my awards don't even have any comical element or aspect to them. There's best script writer, best director, best poet, best act, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. this comedy thing came in as a by the way thing. So I'm an actor that can play any comical character. But with regards to being a leader or a filmmaker, I am going to approach you in my capacity and make you understand that my dream is like this. So if you don't want, you don't feel like being part of the dream, you just say yes or mm-hmm. you say no right mm-hmm. at the very beginning. That's mm-hmm. a sort of arrangement that I have. Uh, but there's people that just don't believe in us. But, you know, we believe in ourselves more than people believe in, our, in us because it's about me. Mm-hmm. If I don't make it, I'm not going to blame you for 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 making me feel like uh, I can't do it because I was not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. Mm-hmm. If you've seen my approach, I am not knocking on the door. Everybody knocks. I haven't gone. I haven't gone to Zambezi Magic to say, "Can you can you produce? Can you give me? Can you commission my film?" Mm. I'm gonna do it on my own, and then if Zambezi Magic sees that what I'm doing is okay. They can come and, and so, we can have so you a haven't got some amazing magic too. No, no, no I, I, I haven't. I've been built for for them because I went to Multi Choice Talent Factory, mm. and these are conversations that people don't put out there. But we are not given the the same opportunities that we were be, m, built for. Mm. I don't know if there's someone who holds the keys to say no. We got some fuck up or something. But we in the past I've tried. But the fact that it's not working, I feel like, ah, why should I be wasting my time on an opportunity that might never even show up? Let me just do what I can do. And if, if it, it's seen fit, they're going to call and we're going to have a conversation. Do you feel there are any gatekeepers in the industry that I are keeping I don't believe you? in that shit. Okay. Did I just say shit? Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. No, feel, feel free. It's not, <laughs> it's not TV. It's not TV. <laughs> yes, they're there, but uh, uh. the narrative has changed. They, the revolution has started. Look. Everyone who makes films in Zambia makes it for fellow filmmakers. I want to make it for a real audience. That's why I'm bringing 2,500 people in one place. So that 500 filmmakers should sit in one place, the rest of the 2,000 as, as, as uh, Zambian film consumers. What does that mean? And I, th- I want to know who these gatekeepers are. No, there's always those people that went before us that just say, you can't do it without us. But I did it so without them. So somebody came to you and say name. this? We've had... We've heard these things. It's um, obviously someone can't t- come to you and tell you to say you can't do it without me. Mm. Do but they, we know. Do they have a British accent? No, we're we're all struggling here. 
why, why are you guys laughing? You guys have got someone else in mind? <laughs> I feel like you people are bringing your own jokes here. Were you talking about Prince William? <laughs> yeah. There you you were? Yeah, I was. All right. I, was I thought so. Yeah. I thought <laughs> so. <laughs> when you talk, talk okay. look at me also. <laughs> I, just, I just think I just think I want to be looked at. Yo, <laughs> dude, you mentioned filmmakers in Zambia. You got, you got separate uh, separation anxiety, huh? Yeah. No, he, I've got split personalities. You're not hard. You're not hard enough as You're a baby. You're not hard enough as a child, huh? No, there was no hugs in Africa. They'll just make you. Do you want to hug? You. No. Not, not by another man. What time is it? And now he's looking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> why are you getting why are you getting shy Cosmos? The one son in him real life. Right. What's yeah, we, we believe you. What he's saying that? he's a very shy guy. Uh, right. Oh, so he can't understand them. I can. Oh. A little bit. Dude, you spoke about um mm. when we brought up the, the gatekeepers conversation. Mm-hmm. You mentioned filmmakers. filmmakers in this country make movies for oh. filmmakers. Yes. I've, you know the last movie premiere I went to I actually observed that there were a lot of actors actresses yes. movie directors what's that about in this country what good does that do to us what's that about to start with because they, we we've diluted the audiences we've we've made our consumers not to believe in our capabilities in our works mm-hmm. so much that the only person I'm going to sell tickets to is just another production company that I know that makes films so that When we watch they they we even leave the the the, the cinemas saying ah the movie was not nice and we even trash talk each other afterwards right mm. but when the real consumers begin to watch our films mm. they they will learn to appreciate to say Zambians are actually making progress the day we posted our trailer every single person i think most of the people that i know were talking about it and most of them were not filmmakers that i know mm. at, at least uh, at least 90% of the people were not filmmakers and for some they received it with mixed feelings because how can a young man like this one make something that looks like this mm. how can a boy which we've just seen grow make something like this also because we don't believe in our uh, in ourselves we don't believe in stars are born every day i'm i'm sitting i'm sitting here because i've been made one mm. tomorrow there's going to be another celebrity sitting here and they're going to be maybe bigger than i am if i give up on my dreams you know so i personally feel like uh, it's time to change Cosmos, the narrative please look at me as ah. we talk <laughs> you're also complaining now <laughs> no, no. I, don't, i don't like this why why are you looking at me you you want to look at to look at you i was just joking <laughs> ah, well, i don't i don't joke with this <laughs> <laughs> i need you to look at me as you talk na papat ah bra hey you mother <laughs> yeah so that's that We, we even in back in the day theater was a whole big deal in our country mm. the likes of the times of maximos the thousand days mm. playhouse would be filled yeah, every true. single weekend there would be shows true but where did we go wrong yeah i remember sometimes you'd even have like three nights in a row yes. of the same yes. play but do you feel music country is also going to fill up a cinema like three four nights in a row we are going to fill up that we are going to fill up mulungushi and i know that By oh, the time it's not even a cinema it's Mulungushi. No, we are, the, that whole Mulungushi, the biggest Mulung in, yeah. in, in, the biggest whole, the one in the middle. Yes. Yeah. The biggest auditorium in the country. Is no. that what you showing Mr. Kanji? Yes. How, okay. how many days? No, no, it's just one night. It's And where can people watch it after that? Uh, those are conversations we're still um, having with distributors to see if we could take it out there and see. Uh, but we have a, we have a whole plan to tour Zambia afterwards what what's your dream distributing where would you love to see your movie go except i would be limiting my um growth mm. but the destination is not just netflix have you started conversations with them yes we are having conversations Your picture quality must be very high quality 4K. Yeah. Yes, shooting we were shooting 4K? in 6K actually. 6K? Yeah. Very high quality. Gob, what do we shoot in? In 4K? They're shooting in 6K. What's your excuse? Look at us. A lot of storage. Yeah. We're, we're not paying him enough for storage. No, clearly <laughs> not. <laughs> so exactly what you should have said. You should have said you niggas are not paying me enough. <laughs> uh, storage. <laughs> 
<laughs> you need like a, what 300 TB space then there's no computer there. you should just say terabyte because TB is tuberculosis bro wow okay maybe uh... please look at me cosmos there you go wow <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me for a second he looks down he starts giggling <laughs> ah fam i don't like the direction this podcast is going <laughs> we started off on a very good foot eh yeah. did, did you start this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now you open the door to this pimpin mm, wow yeah so but we are here to change the narrative that's all Speaking of narrative and you right you, you said you wrote Moise Kanji on your own. I I have a team of writers. Oh, I'm, you have I'm a the team. creator for the for the I write. Right. But I believe in um strengths. So if mm. you, if your ability to write is gonna is gonna bring out the dream that I'm looking for. Mm. I'm going to hire you for it. So there's specific people who were writing plots for example from point A to B there's mm. a person writing that the poem to this and then I come and put the screenplay together and mm. then there's a specific person hired to just write monologues there's a specific person hired to just write specific dialogue mm. for it so and then we come to a specific person brought to just shoot another one to just edit another one to so the whole pro- the whole production has about 350 people That's like a Hollywood feature, man. Yes, and and all of them will need to get paid. So that's why I'm not giving free tickets. Oh, you haven't paid these guys yet? No. So where is this 850,000 going to? In the production. It's production. Yeah, but they still need to get paid. So <laughs> film is not cheap. Film is No, I know it's in the production, but you're saying all these people need to come and get paid. Yes. So where did that money go? Production, dude. He just mentioned the camera guys, everyone is in there. Right. And then it says they need no, to come no, no, and get paid. They are, they, they are hired to do their job. For example, okay. so if 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 I'm calling you to come and play, a, a I want my money the second I'm done working, bro. Bitch, better different. have my money. Exactly. <laughs> It's different. There's mm. some certain people that have already been paid because we 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 had those prior arrangements. But for some people, when we sit down and say, "Okay, guys, when we do the premiere, your expectation is this," so for most of them, I think when are we signing? Contract. Thursday. People should sign. So their basically, contract. what you've spent is eight hundred fifty thousand so far. Mm-hmm. The expenditure is still ongoing. You're yes. still paying more people after, so it could go to a million plus plus. Yes. And 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 yes. and. Okay, so then the budget. I said the budget is way more than a million question. Then it is. It's going to because we're still spending. There's a marketing phase that we're about to go mm. in where we are going to need about 50 youths to to be moving with us on the streets to just distribute flyers and around the malls activations and you can uh, you can advertise on this podcast too so guys i uh, will be doing uh look at not him right, no time not right now <laughs> nigga you pay us no, I'm, i'm playing with you i'm playing with you go ahead there's your camera okay guys uh he was playing with me so <laughs> <laughs> The marketing plan Sounds for like Mizukanji is that uh, we will be going around malls very very soon especially the month of May mm. to just activate uh, even universities also so we will be will be reaching out to people that don't believe in film because people that came before us maybe m- might have made mistakes sometime mm. we don't even know what what wrong they they did so we are suffering now so we have to start again convincing people do you need film film is nice film is nice That's the sort of arrangement we're in. So who played your maps in the movie? Did you see me? Uh, the dreads I was wearing? Oh, you're your maps in no, the no, movie. No, no, no. Wait, who is your maps? There's your maps in the film? <laughs> you should have just shut the fuck up. I should have. You should have just let this play out. I should out. have. <laughs> <laughs> So what was it like playing your maps, bro? There's no. Mm. Don't put names it's gone. to, it's gone. to it's these characters. Gone. It's gone. So now we know who played your maps. Yeah. You guys know. Obviously, maybe few people that are. So what, did you have to go to Ethiopia to get a a kidist for the role? I didn't say kidist to get somebody else to play. There's some light skin kid. There's some the light film. skin. Did you right, see? Right, 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 right. Yeah. When the trailer is just about to. And what's their language like in the movie? 
the, the light skinned ones well, um, yeah, I think she, I think that one speaks English and, and nyanja yeah. in our film ka? no swearing nothing mm. there's a bit there's a bit of it right right I thought that would be like 50 or 60% I, I thought of... that was what we all know mm. because there's supposed to be someone insulting especially if we think that this story... the light skinned one right Yeah, the right skin girl. Is She's the one that will be insulting a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, why, why, why are you laughing? I'm laughing at God. I don't know why God is like, why, why are you making me laugh? What's, what's, what's going on here? Am I, am I missing something? No, I'm actually enjoying this conversation. Yes, so you need to buy tickets to come and experience this for your own. I'm, I'm definitely buying a ticket. Okay, uh, maybe we should just give him the, the, the VIPs because if he doesn't buy on this Look podcast, up the manager wasting no time in yeah. grabbing the tickets from the car. Yeah. You could send the money to me. <laughs> you say what? Send the money to me for. for yeah, that's fine. I will. That like I, like, dr- I like that you're looking at me. So okay. that way I will. I, will. <laughs> I want you to zoom in on him every time I ask him. God, you're missing content here. Gold. You should. Be- <laughs> I'm supposed to zoom in on this gentleman every time I we need to, we, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a show how I became gay and I'll be this is going to be the opening. <laughs> God, do you want to answer this? God, do you want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be the opening. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is. Dude, can we talk about industry issues? Mm. The rumor about you having beef with Shimumbi, what's that about? <gasps> it's not even a rumor. Oh, okay, there, there was the issue between it's you and Shimumbi. It's not beef. What's the issue between you and Shimumbi? Have Shimon? you have you ever been in a situation where you look you look up to someone and then they just disappoint you like that? So, uh, you're getting to VIPs? Well, let's see. So, you, you can talk. People complain that uh, we can't put the venue at Levi Manawasa Medical University, so we moved it to Mulungosh. Why did you want it to the hospital? I don't know. Uh, dreams grow as you go. So. Oh, you wanted to use the hall at the yes, hospital? Yes, there's, there's a very beautiful hall. I know, the, is it the round one? Yes, the one that's behind there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a very beautiful You one. look up to someone and disappoint you, Shimombi? <sighs> I don't know. After that is when I stopped believing in gatekeepers. Mm. Because you'd be thinking, you know that thing Sakot said, I just become rivals. I I respect that man with my my whole integrity, but the, the approach in which stuff happened, it happened anyway. I, we spoke about it. Let's, we need to move on. Mm. Yes. But we we don't talk. We never used to to talk. Okay. Anyway. So um, I still have nothing to lose. Are you buying tickets? Yeah, I'm buying tickets. Wait, what was it about again? Huh? What was it about? The the what? The the whole Shimombi issue. It was about my show. I invited him to come for a show and then he never showed up. Well, so you got your feelings hurt as a result? No, people insulted me. Why? Because they, their favorite person didn't show up. Well, it was supposed to be like guest of honor MC. No, no, it was supposed to be. He was on my lineup. Respectfully, I approach you to say, Elton. Uh, 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 El- Elton is your yes. man. This is Elson. I'm Elson. Elson, would you be part of my show that I'm that is coming up? Mm. Can you can you would you love? How much do you charge? And then I say yes. And then you say yes. I'm going to come for free. No, no. no. Tell me how much you charge. Mm. Then he, he goes, no, just people just say a lot of bad things about me. I'm a good person. I'll show up for free. And then, and then he never shows up. But anyway, that's what under the bridge. Because yeah. I think our our focus now is to see how far we should grow the industry without hating anyone. I'm not in this business for to amplify differences or mm. or issues that we've we've. I would love to meet uh, Shimumbi and still say hi to him because he's, he went before me. He is at the experience. He's been exposed more than we've been exposed. And mm. no matter how much naivety we might have, we, we still have a lot to learn from the people that went before us. That is true. I may not believe in <clears throat> gatekeepers, mm. but anyone, anyone who's gone before me, I respect them. Because even at the time that the industry was could have been dying, they were there. And they made sure they entertained people for us to come and pick up from where they've they've left. So it's very very important to acknowledge people that that do much. I'm going to ask you a question that Shuma Piri asked me last week. Do you feel at this point in the industry you're just an influencer or are you influential? Mm-hmm. 
That's a helicopter though. Is it a helicopter? It's a plane. No, that is a plane, sir. Okay. So the one with the propeller. All right. Well, mm, I could I am I'm a bit of both. Okay. But more on the on the influential element. I could influence someone's business. Mm-hmm. Right? But as an individual when I sat on on the Chimweka show, mm. the influence of that video mm. made me realize how influential I could be because okay. there's people from the diaspora that are still talking about that and I've seen a lot of people put the the, the clips of that interview on their status and and that that conversation mm. might live might stand the test of time mm-hmm. and because these these conversations will always resurface when something when someone is going through stuff so i feel like i am more influential than i am of an influencer because i'm just hired to influence someone's business but my reputation plays a very very a uh, key role in in the influence that i live hmm. okay a uh, gary <laughs> Uh, you guys are listening. Uh, uh. Let's do this. Just this guy. Everything is a problem. If, when else and I talk to each other, it's a problem. When we talk to you and listen, and listen is a problem. Ah, this guy. <laughs> ah. Yes, you can ask another question. Are you sending the money now or what? <laughs> How much money do you want me to send? It's Business person. Because five hundred kwacha. One. Send more. Yeah? These are three. Can you can you get three VIPs? Yeah, it's a small small issue, no problem. I have to find a third person. Isn't he here? You don't. He's married. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. Nice kind of stuff. I'll yeah, buy one married. ticket. How long, have, how long have you been uh, married? Me. Yeah. Uh, four years now. Yeah. You're saying? No, no. Let Let Nelson finish with you first. Four years. How's that Dude, been? This is my fourth year. How's that been? How's the journey been so far? It's amazing because I'm married to a friend. Even if we stop loving each other, we are still friends in the house. So mm. it, it works out like that. There's no, there's this institution you can never graduate. You just need to learn to figure it out. If you are not getting along, you need to find ways or now to start getting along because mm. there's no way out. Um, unless Chabi is an abusive marriage, that if it got to that point, I would, I would, I would ask my partner to say you know what let's let's not do this we could mm. still live happily ever after even 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 in different places but why, why, an, why don't you love each other anymore we do love each other could have been just said even though we don't love each other anymore no they that's not what i said can, can i rewind the audio love no he Ima- was talking about even if the love stops yes mm. you will still be friends mm. There's okay. phases in marriage that just comes where you you want to do not a man but mm. you still there then when you talk about things you regain the love again and move on How long were you guys dating before you got married? Two years Okay But the the fastest way to propose to someone you love now is to get them pregnant The fumo fi Whatever And the no car up <laughs> Yeah just get her pregnant <laughs> No car <laughs> Fast, fast. <laughs> yeah, fast, 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 So is that what happened with you? Yeah. Is that of what course. happened with you? I had to do it. Because yeah. we, I, I'd never met any woman that, that, that loved pretty. me as much as oh, Karen did. So yeah. the yeah. rest of the other ones that you had before, you had like paid them for them to love you? No. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're saying the I've had a very weird love life in it. You, know, you don't even want to talk about it. No, no, let's, let's, talk about it. let's talk about uh, it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but Carol, Carol has been there. She's she's a, she's a girl. So was she there? Oh, but you know her for two years. It, we were friends for two years or you were dating for two years? We were dating for two years. Uh, there's no such thing as being friends first, then you start dating. Too. I've always said that. Guys and girls cannot be friends. No, they can't be friends. No, it's like having a pet chicken. One day you chow it. <laughs> Aye. Yeah, of course. You get uh, you've not eaten for two days and it's the only thing you have next to you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so how was your love life weird? Uh, I don't know. If I say this one, this is this is uh, permanent tattoos that will always resurface. No, it's just it's just between the three of us here. Yeah. Okay. Thank God cameras are watching. 
So what happened? What happened to you? Were you uh, a virgin up until like six years ago? No, it's not even about that. This mm. to my girls, girls, chabe. I could dump her, I could chabe. You know? Mm. Um, yeah, but some of, some of them regret. And Who then, regrets? You regret or they regret? They. Why, why do they regret? Because now you're a big movie star. Right? So, Vela, Bonjour, Gatamba, Patibi, Akoi. Patibi, Nanze. I'm sure you love that song with the passion. So, have some of them come back? They have. When they've seen you on TV? They have. I'm, hi, guys. I'm embarrassing you again. Um, <laughs> thanks for dumping me. <laughs> you made Here me a are. better man. Yeah, I am. Maybe I, would, I was never going to be happy with you. But yeah. Why are you not looking at me? I'm looking at you, nigga. Okay. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> ah, why are you looking away? I'm here, Cosmos. I'm looking at my fans that are passing. There you go. Oh. I'm a fan too. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Gob, you always your little machine thing. I mean, I like it when you're working with your thing and then There's you're no zoom. power here, bro. Load shedding is killing our so production. Why, why, why are we here? Where's, 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 what area has power this time? Uh, plenty of places I can pack up. No, this is, this is, now I'm a lot more intrigued um, about the movie. Now that I have like an idea of maybe a little, a, mm. a little bit of what to expect. Mm. Are there any kids in the movie? Yes. Two specific kids? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be the ship. But you 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 still die with denial that it's leave not it about Muzukanji. It it's not about it's not about Muzukanji. No, it's not. There's a way that he's taking the directions, the, the, the conversations that you are just ruining. So Exactly, that's my point. I don't know why he keeps dragging us back. Okay, I'll, I'll buy a ticket on that one condition. <laughs> what condition? <laughs> if he tells me if it's about Wuzukanji or not. Can you just buy a ticket? No, I'm not. Until he just tells me. Just know that there's family disputes. Exactly. Family disputes. There's, there's, there's social media clout. There there's, you go. There's, ah. there's mm. differences. Mm. The stuff that Are you sold? No, he's going to grab me the tickets now. Are you sold? <laughs> no, not yet. I'll okay. tell you. I'll tell you when I'm sold. I'm okay. gonna buy a ticket. I'll tell you when I'm sold. Okay. okay. No, Who are you yeah. going with? Uh, pff, not your wife, wife, of course. No, what do you mean? She's, a, she's a fan of Muzukanji. I'm sure the name. Which Muzukanji is she a fan of? The real one. But who says this about her? She's gonna make that assumption. I mean, that's 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 the bait these guys have laid for <laughs> people to go to the cinema. Okay. Yeah, that's the bait they've laid, yeah. and it's a good name they picked because Muzukanji is a force in the country right yeah. now. Yeah. Imagine a disappointment when people come to the cinema and find it's on Muzukanji. But you know, I've always wondered why, though. Why what? Why is she as big as she is? Sympathy. What is that? I'm also, I'm, I'm looking at you as well, so you are you're open <laughs> to answering this question. <laughs> Actually, my, my head is going to hurt because now I have to, like, keep it. <laughs> well, I, I feel like he, she deserves to be where she is. Why? Why do you think so? Because, you know, when you, when you pick up yourself, how many, how many... Baby mamas, do we have out there that have picked themselves up to be this a lot influential? Like, no. But my point is, where did the influence come from? She went down, pick it up. But every single day, we have women that struggle. That why are hustle. they not picking themselves up? No, they are. But my point is, why is this one noticeable? So many, bruh. Let me let me give you a good example, Cosmos. She was hold chosen. On, on. She was chosen by God. Hold on. Let me give you a good example. Have you ever been to Soweto? Like yes. early in the morning around four. Mm -hmm. Ask the women that you see grinding there, how mm -hmm. many of them have husbands? They are single, they've been dumped, they're baby mamas, but they are there hustling. Why aren't they making it yeah, as Because big? they don't have a Facebook account. Well, even if they did, <laughs> even if they did, I don't think they would be as as big as Muzukanji yeah, is. Because they are not the chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. So let's, like, no, let's just conclude that Muzukanji is chosen to be where she is. And the fact that's that... That's what I wanted to know. That's the fact that uh, her past has been in the public domain where all of us have witnessed it gives her even more reason to be even bigger than she, what she is today. And what past is that? What are we talking about? No, but my, my point is what? That she, she dated someone then she, and then the relationship <laughs> ended? That past? That that sort of it, it, also it's just the way how like the way things end. That okay, yeah. No, it's because you know, just like the Kardashians, at times you wonder like why are they famous? They are famous for being famous, 
Paris Hilton, same thing. So I've just always, you know, they were found with the right people at the right time and fame blew. So mm-hmm. who found Muzukanji? Hmm? Hmm? Who found her? You said they were found by the right people at the right time. So no, who they, found Muzukanji? <laughs> they were found with the right people at the right time. So and Muzukanji? Hmm? And Muzukanji, nigga. <laughs> like he explained, sympathy. The Sympathy. public loved the story so of a woman picking so, herself so up from a sorry. breakup and so, whatever. So people feel sorry for her. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't work for you, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, but hey, yeah, look, it's interesting. Uh, she's, um, yeah, she's a force, man. Pretty interesting woman. <laughs> Cosmos, I've got five would you rather questions for you. Okay. Would you rather be stuck in a romantic comedy with your worst enemy or in a horror movie with your best friend? That's easy. Mm. Not a demand, sir. Let's pick uh, his brain. No, I think the first one. Romantic comedy yeah. with your worst You're enemy. You're a weird, weird man, Mr. Cosmos. What would you have said, though? The latter. The horror movie with your mm, best friend? Mm. Okay. What are we doing? Dying? I'm with my happy? best friend. So I, no, yeah, but the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my moments with, with my best friend. Next uh, question. No, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in that shit to sort out issues with them, my enemies, especially that man. Okay, let's go. Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world or be able to talk to animals? That's easy. Every language in the world. Every language. I'll like, speak to animals. You'd rather speak to animals. Yep. I can take over countries. Go to Congo, speak to all the fucking gorillas there. Would you rather have a knife when you need a spoon or a spoon when you need a knife? Would you rather have a knife when you, when you need a spoon? Mm-hmm. Or a spoon when or you need a, a knife? You need a, ah, that's easy. <laughs> it is, would you rather? It's not about easy or hard. Yeah, it's easy. Mm. Don't think, don't think hard about it. Okay. Um, a spoon. A oh my knife. God. A knife all day. A knife? Mm-hmm. There are things that I keep in the boot of my car. <laughs> I, keep, I keep an extra pair of shoes, an extra pair of jeans. I keep Dettol. I keep a Band-Aid. And I keep a knife. Well, every time I hold a knife, it's always telling me, stab yourself, stab yourself, stab yourself. Uh, you need Why therapy. Though? You need uh, therapy. Uh, Why though? I don't know. The, you know those weird things that just come you need to your therapy. head every time you are yeah, just alone. No, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> Everybody has this. No, I, so I, don't, I don't bring me into your psychotic ass mind. I okay, now, now I'm worried. Like, explain yourself. What? <laughs> like what? You know when? You... No, nigga, we don't know. <laughs> no, let him explain. Let him explain. <laughs> no, I'm letting him explain. He keeps saying, "You know when." <laughs> no, is, we do not. He's finding his that, thoughts. He's gathering his that thoughts. Nothing that happens when you, when, I don't know. I, I, it's just me that I feel like, yeah, um, like stab yourself, stab yourself. <laughs> when you hold <laughs> a knife, a voice in your head tells you to stab yourself. Yeah. So have you done that before? No. I've never. Well, well, now I'm beginning to think what happened to the tooth in the middle of your... <laughs> <laughs> this is called a diastemasa. We are born like this. There's a lot of us. Or you were not holding a hammer in no, a chisel no, one day. No, then, then I <laughs> and then a voice in your head saying... <laughs> <laughs> Remove your teeth. Remove your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's sakazim, sir. But ah, it's fine. Okay, but, it's um, but you got a good sense of humor, which is, which is a good thing. I like people who can laugh at themselves. And initially, when we started this shit, you were a bit too sensitive. Yeah. You were tight. No, you, you were thinking... Um, you, you need to find some energy. Who needs to find energy? Uh, oh, you mean every, like, you mean, okay. About the, okay every cool. time you're in a, you're in, a, in a new environment, mm-hmm. find energy mm-hmm. so that you know where to fit. But eventually, the, our conversation picked up. Yes, it did. Yeah. It did. I just didn't like how you were talking to each other like you're here <laughs> to interview yourselves. Well, this is not an interview, Cosmos. This is a conversation. So like you are here to talk to yourselves. Uh, you are part of this. It's not my fault that you don't understand business and economics. <laughs> No, it's not my fault that I can't relate to a certain level of sarcasm. Ah, you see now. <laughs> We're going back there again. No, but, um, but then I prefer, I, I like it that way though. Yeah. Did you did you come here expecting like something different uh, or was it what you expected? I've watched you guys. You, you, 
you are, you are even you are cool today the what you did to that boy um Mordecai Mordecai yeah <sighs> I just went like this guys what runs in their head so if 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 someone comes here and they are not smart enough uh, you are really going to take them your direction but Mordecai was smart enough right Mordecai held his own uh, I don't think you know so. people will say no you guys were harsh on the boy but that's what his manager brought him for he was like I need you guys to toughen him up for bigger interviews that is going to you know no but it's amazing because yeah, uh, uncomfortable conversations really make us uh, begin to think like I doubt do you know the difference between coal and diamonds no they're both carbon pressure. that's a similarity yeah pressure you exert enough pressure mm. and you get diamonds That's the basic, biggest difference between the two. Did you okay. know this as well? Yeah. yeah. So, I, for as long as you are, you know, you're, you're cuddly and 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 everything else. And I say this about um what's his name? The kid we we're talking about? Mordecai. Mordecai. The industry itself. So you've got you this thing this. of forgetting people's names. Hey, man, I'm old. I'm old. Okay. Listen, bro. The industry, and you know this, man, the industry is tough and life is harsh. So if you're going to like cuddle people, like, like, like ask them the whole, eh, so what age did you know you could sing? It is going to be a cutthroat industry and world where they're going to be faced with a lot tougher instances and scenarios. Mm -hmm. So if you can handle tough questions, then you're not built for this. So yeah just like you said and you you held your own I felt he held, he held his own we move okay what are the two last questions we are we're preparing my, just, for just my last for question his excellency for the president putting the energy out there okay you want him to come here yes i'd rather you follow him to state house sorry you not follow. here at this restaurant bro oh, okay and either way when we do it i wouldn't want to do it at the state house Oh yeah. Or community He, house? His house, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We should have the president here because I think there's a lot of things that you guys would would iron out for us. I don't know who his baba is. That would be question one. Yes. Yeah. He's had the same I saw, <laughs> I saw I saw a meme of a silhouette. Did you see that? Mm -mm. And people were like Guess the Guess person. Who? <laughs> <laughs> And it was him. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> what no. are my He's two last questions, please? You say what? Your two last questions. Yes. Why are you getting uncomfortable? <laughs> He doesn't want to talk about the president. <laughs> oh, because the former used to watch your used to watch him party. No. Why are you using my words against me okay. on on this? Okay, you can you can chat. ask your questions, sir. No, he wants easy questions. So ask, dude. I, I want the I, toughest I think... ones. You guys have not made me feel like I Nah, today uh, I'm at the podcast. Today, today is a Monday. Okay. Yeah, it's a Monday. Ask your question, sir. It's even gone now. I just want to ask random shit. Like, dude, what's the weirdest or funniest experience you've had on set of Mpali? Have you ever like farted? No. No. Everybody just holds the farts. <laughs> no one can freely give it away. So the weirdest experience that you've had on set? Mm. They they were quite a number. They were quite a number. Ah. I can't remember. You know he's an actor now, he's in Zuba. Him? Hmm. I don't watch TV. <gasps> you don't watch your own show. No. He's an actor now. Oh. I hope he's good. I've been getting a lot of um, yeah or whatever you're like negative feedback. Okay. Oh, that'll be good. <laughs> to tell me more. I knew you could. <laughs> I knew you'd want to hear this shit. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> oh, fun. People can be harsh, eh? Hey, I, I Dude, I'm sure when you started as well, they were like people <laughs> I love this. <laughs> This nigga. No, for me it was never like that. People just he don't have anything they want. Yeah, it's always just love you from day one. Yeah, it's wow. The Let's first time yours. I showed on TV everybody went like, "Who is that boy?" Very brilliant. <laughs> I. Yes. <laughs> And let's, let's let's hear yours. Can we look at him please? Yeah. Uh, remember last week we posted say we're, we're going live? Mm -hmm. uh, that was Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. Say we're going live at 15 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go go on that post and see the comments. <laughs> This was on Facebook, right? It's on Facebook. Okay. Bro. Okay. 
We're gonna read this together. This is an art. This is an art. It's an art. It's a discipline. You prepare yourself. You just don't wake up one day and you're like, no. You see, at at least Francia warned me when I was just getting into it. She said. Expect backlash, expect negative comments, expect positive comments, expect people to think what they see on the screen is how you are in real life. Mm. So now I'm getting people winking at me at the mall, thinking I'm this romantic guy, even mm. in real life. Ah. You know what I mean? Because my role is... You know, it's very vague you say people winking at you. Can you specify the gender, sir? Yeah, well, one, one or two females at the mall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, or two females. one or two females. And the yeah. rest? She doesn't sound like females. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Natasha Chola says each time I look at K plus I'm reminded of his character on Zuba. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Um Okay, what well, uh, Tawonga Kumwenda said, can you read this because it's in Venak. This Tawonga person is that the negative comment or not? Ndipo Ndipo K plus uh looking at you. Na na kumbuka na your character in Zuba keep it up. <coughs> That's, that's a compliment. That's a, that's, okay. But I'm looking, I'm looking for the negative ah, comments. So he's really in Zuba. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude, I'm looking for the negative comments. Where, where, where are they? No, there, there's, a, there's a guy who came and said, I think I like you on a podcast. Stay <laughs> away from acting. <laughs> it's not your thing. No, they always I don't know say I said, that. Podcasting, yes. Acting, ah, voila. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Speaking of that right. post, sorry we digress. There's a person called Paul Daliso Kamaka. I love such comments. He says... I enjoy the podcast. I just cannot stand how Elson is always rude and basically a piece of shit to the guests. I watch many podcasts yeah, from yeah, Joe Rogan to Dr. Can, can we Jordan. Have that? Yeah. Uh, to Dr. Jordan Peterson. Thanks, Paul. Uh, and they're never rude to their guests. K plus, on the other hand, big ups to you, bro. You are so polite and respectful. Keep it up. He's always engaging well, in a conversation. Mr. Paul Daliso. Uh, Is that like a... Oh, look at that. That's him right there. Yeah. Okay. Let me just expand his... That's him right there. Thanks, Paul. He kind of looks like a virgin, though, a little, doesn't he? Mr. Paul, can you... Hmm. <laughs> 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 Okay. What am I going to do now? My heart is so broken. Paul doesn't like me. <laughs> and the only thing you have is sarcasm. What are you yeah. going to do with your life now? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. Yeah, Cosmos, it's been... Uh, wish, first of all, wishing you so much luck Thank with you. the Muzukanji movie. You have to mm-hmm. sell, what, 2,500 tickets? Yes. How many sold so far? Um, 600. 600? Are these like actors, directors, <laughs> industry people? No? Real people. Yeah. Real people. Ah. Yeah, but there's few filmmakers that have gotten their tickets and supporters like so, the makers of Mpadi. June what? 29th. June 29th. Yes. No, we'll be there. There's a red carpet at 17 hours and then after party at 21. Ooh. Yes. So this is all on the same... 500 kwacha. 500 kwacha. Free is the food as well? Blackout. Is We're still having conversations. Um, you, you get drunk until you... Is the food? We are having snacks. No? no? We're giving them alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Let's so, just come. You're, you're still not going to confirm if you're leaving in Pali or not because there's, there's been a lot of stories about you having issues with the producers there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like... I, I, so my fame is working, eh? Because yeah, when, when you're famous, people talk. Exactly. Yeah, so no, I, you're famous, sir. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, let people should continue talking. We're gonna have a press about it. About uh, you leaving in Pali? No, just to put yeah. people in the direction they need to be, whether we're leaving or we're still there. But mm. I'm still there. Or having issues with the producers. Were we rapping? Yeah, we were. It's just I, I mean, as we walk off the set, just one question. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. Mm, what's the question again? Issue, are you living issues, in Pali? And are you with having the issues with producers? I'm not having. Any issues with anyone? Do they not have issues living. with you? Uh, I'm not in control over how people feel. Very good answer. Another smart guest. Brilliant, Cosmos, brilliant thanks a lot for coming through to that <laughs> podcast. And wish you all the best with the Muzukanji movie. Thank you very much. And I hope you get the result that you're looking so for. So as we are wrapping, can you buy tickets? Yes. Now? You got the POS yeah. machine? Yeah. 
You move with one? Yeah. Bring. I'm an institution. I'll buy two tickets. He does he does that all the time when he's got no money. I'll buy two tickets right now. I've okay. seen this guy do this at Soweto when he stepped on a woman's tomatoes. Come swipe. Come a machine to swipe. No, but honestly, if you've got the machine, I'll buy the two tickets oh, right okay. now. Yeah. What, what bank do you use, boss? I'm with Zanako. Okay. Yeah. Big, strong. And reliable. Yeah. Till the next episode, remember to click on the subscribe button. K plus the other guy. Till next week. Tan 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 tan